The whole idea of selling can be really intimidating for educators. It feels like it's something that just doesn't fit in with being an educator. But in fact, if we're honest, that's often an excuse because we actually have a lack of confidence, perhaps in both our service and in our ability to sell that service. In this video, I'm going to help you reframe your attitudes towards selling your service and give you some practical tips to help you develop the confidence to really sell your service in a way that feels good and never icky or sleazy. I'm Rachel Roberts and I help ELT, ESL and MFL freelancers like you develop a business model and offer and marketing strategy so that you can work less and earn more. Join my membership, the Confident ELT Freelancer Collective, or work with me more closely over six months on my small group program designed to flourish. Check the description below the video for more details and to book a call. Maybe the most important thing we need to do to get more confident about selling our services is to recognise that despite what that little voice in our head may be telling us, selling somebody something that they actually need and want is not taking anything away from them. Think about how you feel when you find something that you really want to buy, that you know will make a measurable difference to your life. What was that thing for you in the last 12 months or so? Would you have appreciated the person selling it, telling you that they weren't going to sell it to you in case you thought badly of them? Of course not. If you know that your service is going to help this person to achieve what they want to achieve, you're actually doing Doing them a disservice if you don't tell them about it and give them the information that they need in order to make the right decision. But what if you're not really that confident that what you offer will help them? Obviously, if this is really the case, then you shouldn't be selling it to them. But most of the time, you know deep down that this actually isn't true. It's just that your inner troll is very loudly questioning your lack of competence. I come across this all the time with clients. So if this is sounding familiar, you're very much not alone. It's particularly common when you're starting out or offering a new service, of course, but it can still rear its ugly troll head many years into your business. But if you let the troll run the game here, you're not only doing yourself a disservice, you're also letting down all those people who actually could be benefiting from what you offer. So what steps can we take to start to feel more confident about our offer? Firstly, if it's a new service, I do think it can be a good idea to start by offering a beta version of that offer. This definitely shouldn't be free because people do value what they pay for and you won't get the same level of commitment or the same results. However, you can offer a reduced price when you're starting off with a new course. And this can help to take the pressure off you a little bit and quieten down that troll voice. You can let people know that because it's a beta version and they're getting it a bit cheaper than it will be, it might be a little bit rough around the edges and that you will be asking them to give you some feedback as they go along so that you can improve the course in the future. This takes a huge amount of pressure off and enables you to focus on developing the course rather than worrying about what people might think of it. And the feedback and testimonials that you get through doing this will help you to both improve the course for the future and to sell it at the proper price next time. Secondly, in general, your pricing needs to be roughly in line with your confidence. Now, you might be surprised to hear me say that, but I don't mean that therefore you should charge a really low price. What I mean is that your pricing should stretch your comfort zone, but not necessarily catapult you right outside of it. You need to set prices at a point where you feel a little bit uncomfortable. But if you go too far too soon, you will probably unconsciously sabotage sales of your service because you don't really believe deep down that what you're selling is worth that price. So start where you feel just a little bit uncomfortable. You can always nudge the prices up further as you go along and as you see the benefit of what you're offering and start to get the feedback and testimonials. Thirdly, you need to actively work on building your confidence around your service. 
Spend some time looking at past testimonials. Make a list of all the ways your service has helped people and look and add to this list often, especially just before a sales call. Give yourself some concrete evidence that what you're offering works and will help people. And finally, remember that this is not about what you are worth. This is about what your service and the results that you help people to get are worth. These are two very different things. What difference will working with you make to their lives and work? That's the value. The other thing that can seriously undermine your confidence in what you're selling is your own fear of what other people may think and the judgments they may make about your offer. Putting your offer out there doesn't just mean that your clients will see it or hopefully see it. It also means that your peers will see it. And for many people, that's a big block. But the truth is that nobody cares as much as you think they do. Shift your perception by acknowledging that people are actually primarily focused on themselves and on what people think of them. And if they are overly focused on you and judging you, that actually says far more about them than it does about you. The chances are that no one is thinking that much about what you may or may not be doing. And probably not that many people are even seeing what you're doing, the way that social media works. Instead of worrying about what your peers might think, Focus on the people that you want to be helping, just as you would if you were being observed teaching a class. The impact that your service can have on people's lives is much more important than the opinions of those who may or may not be judging you. Overcoming self-doubt doesn't happen overnight. It's a gradual process. But every time you feel the fear and decide to do it anyway, you're making progress and building confidence. For expert support and guidance along the way, check out my membership, the Confident ELT Freelancer Collective, or join me on my small group programme, Designed to Flourish. Details are in the video description. In the next video coming up on your screen, I'm talking about 10 more small but powerful mindset shifts to help you get out of your own way and let your business flourish.